hello guys welcome back to my channel this is shades of Madi. in this video i'll be teaching us how to make a bugger flyer using photoshop so we'll be using 1280 by 1350 as this as the size so let us drag our first image in drag it in like this click ok what we're going to do next is add a new layer, create solid color. This color will be F4CF6A. Click OK. Change the blend mode to Hue. So let's drag in our wood image. Drag in our wood image like this. Let's place it like this. Okay, exactly like this. Yes. Wood image like this. Okay. Now, drag in our bugger. Drop it like this. Reduce the size to the barest minimum reduce the size like this so let us create shadow so let's click on the wood add new layer B for brush you can increase a little bit you tap once come here press ctrl t to transform hold on shift hold on shift hold shift reduce expand reduce reduce expand reduce now that's a background shadow let us adjust it a little bit to suit our curve okay this is this is okay yeah, this is easy okay let us bring in our tree come here come to the tree area let us use this down tree first oh sorry okay something like this something like this Okay. okay let's come to control let's press control shift here we want to add a little life to the image or better still let us use um let us use brightness and contrast let us cancel this let's cancel this the brightness and contrast clipping mask contrast to darken the little bit little bit darken it yes I think this is okay control J the image hey, sorry control Z Control J the image, Control T. Let's move it up a little bit, like this. Flip. Flip horizontal. Let's turn like this. Like this. Yes, something like this. So let us add our leaves. I already made the design for the leaves already. Add leaves like this. So it will look kind of realistic. Okay. 
Okay. Let's add a little Gaussian blur to the leaf. Blur, Gaussian blur. Yes, something like this. This is this is fine. Then click OK. Now come to okay. Yes. Come here. Create new layer. Now we're going to use our gradient tool to map out these dark stuffs here. Like this. Yes, this is very okay. Mapped down. You can reduce the fill so it will not be too dark. Yeah, this is okay. Like that. so, let us add new layer. Come to our B brush, change the color. Let's look for something yellowish. Something yellowish like this. Reduce the brush size. Tap ones like this. Change the blend mode to color dodge add. Ctrl T to transform. Trying to get something like this. Ctrl J to duplicate the image. Can drag it like this too. Ctrl J to duplicate the image again. Drag it here. Let us leave it. Let's leave it like this. Yes. The idea is just to create a kind of scene around the burger. So that's it for that. So I added my text too. So for this meaty, I will be I, I use them great day personal use color combo 9D 9B10. So for I had a stroke to it too, a little bit of white at the end. Stroke color. Okay, let me also share the code too. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, um B BDB eight five nine for the stroke. Now for the burger it's arching bold for the burger. I just cut that side to just to save time. So what we are going to do now is work on the design itself in general. So let us add a little light too by pressing Ctrl J to duplicate this layer. Drag it up here. You can leave it behind this. Ctrl T to transform. Expand this a little bit. Still in linear dodge add, you can expand to expand like this. Ctrl J also again. Ctrl T to transform. Drag this also down here. You can also expand if you want to. You can expand, you can expand, you can expand like this. You just give life to the design itself now let us change the whole look color look up we had three stripe look it's gonna give you this look I'm gonna create a new layer here put a new layer and you're gonna click um solid color solid color Solid, sorry, solid color. Now type in B five E seven two E. 
click ok change the blend mode to soft light like this now come and drag in your image also drag the image like this place it change the blend mode to soft light yes so that's how i made this design so you can however in increase or reduce the image uh, the blur the light opacity you know to your preference so it depends on what you want to use it for you can also change the color too so you can manipulate it any way you want so thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel and watch my other videos Thank you very much.